Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to this webinar. My name is Michael Wingle and I want to show you today how to align an inclined plane. So we often have the, um, the case that the workpiece is not clamped parallel to the machine axis and we need to align it to do a machining. In this webinar I want to show you how to align the workpiece with our um, touch probe system in manual operation and automatic mode and how you can go on working after the aligned workpiece. So sometimes we need to do a rework and um, so uh, second machining on a workpiece and for this um, exercise we need to align um, the milled surface to our machine coordinate system that we know the difference between the surface and the machine coordinate system and to compensate it. Um, the first solution would be the manual solution. So um, on the TNC 640 we have the possibility um, with the probing plane manual operation uh, cycle and we can with a machine with two rotary axes we can compensate this 3D basic rotation and afterwards we can machine on this aligned surface. And the second solution would be um, the automatic solution together with the probing cycle 431 and we also need a machine with two rotary axes. So the second solution is also possible on ITNC 530. The solution number one, the probing cycle, is available only on 640 and 620. So here you see the probing cycle. Um, this probing cycle, when you can, when you are in manual mode and you press the manual probing cycles, then you get the probing plane. So the probing plane is a cycle to measure the surface of a workpiece and to compensate the angle of this surface with the 3D basic rotation. Very important are the three probing points. So the first two probing points are always the X plus axis. So if you define the first two probing points, they are always the X plus axis. And the third point is the direction of the positive Y axis. So with these three points, you define also the coordinate system after the, aligned, after the alignment on your workpiece. So always define them against the clock, otherwise the coordinate system is not correct on your workpiece. So always the first and the second is X plus and the third is Y plus axis. After probing plane, we also need to compensate the angle in the X and Y working plane. For this we have the probing rod soft key and with the probing rod soft key we can bring the X plus axis parallel to the front surface of my workpiece, for example. So, now we see a short video from a probing example. So we want to align the surface. So this surface here we want to align with our touch probe. So for this we put in our probing system. So we could do the same also with a manual probing system. So you see 3D basic rotation is inactive, so we activate probe, probing plane, and we start now with three probing points. All the three in set minus, so the first, NC start, set minus, okay, 
than the second. So we do a little bit movement here in the y-axis. So the second point, this is x plus. And then the third point over the first two points and nc start and then we have the y plus and you see now the basic rotation spa, spb and spc we can also use a reference angle and number in table so we set basic rotation so we wrote it to line number zero and now we align the surface with the two rotary axes and now the probe is perpendicular to the surface you see it with the values in B and C that here we have now an angle in the axis and also the axis are tilted so in the next step we want to do the probing rod with the front surface here so here we have in the MDI mode we can make with plane spatial A0, B0, Z0 we can come back to the aligned surface so plane spatial A0, Z0, B0 brings back to aligned surface and sequence minus or sequence plus we can decide in which direction we want to go with the round axis so should the B axis go to plus or to minus? Again, sequence minus. Then we change to the other direction. So the B hat goes to the other direction and the C table turns 180 degrees. Okay, so if the 3D basic rotation is active, we can always use plane spatial A0, B0, Z0 to come back. Now we align the x-axis. So we are using the front surface here and say touch probe, probing rod and y plus. So we can also use a drilling or a stud to do this. We are making now two probing points y plus once and a little bit to the right side and the second okay so now we see the angle of rotation minus 9.6 and set basic rotation and then we are back then the workpiece is aligned so when we now follow the workpiece it's just x plus then the touch probe will follow exactly the workpiece so now the workpiece is aligned and we can go on with set data. You see here the symbol 3D basic rotation active and you also see tilting active. So these are the two symbols here. The left sign is 3D basic rotation active, the right sign is tilting active. Next step we want to set the datum, so y plus, nc start, okay, and set datum, the next step, probing position, x minus, and nc start. So we can do the same with a manual probe function, then we need to go to the connection point and with the key take the position. So with the teach in key we can take the position and we can also do this with a mechanical touch probe. And set datum minus 20. Okay, so now the workpiece is aligned and the datum is set and all these values are stored in the preset table. So when we now program plane reset turn,
plane reset turn always brings the round axis to zero. So we lose the alignment. But when we then program again plane spatial A0, B0, Z0, we come back to the alignment. So plane reset always to round axis zero. Plane spatial A0, B0, Z0 always perpendicular to the aligned surface. And it's saved in the preset table in the column SPA, SPB and SPC. So now we align the work piece, the work piece and we have the values of the aligned surface stored in the preset table. So 3D basic rotation is active. How can we now work after this 3D basic rotation? So we have three um, cases. The first is um, a simple three axis program. The second application is tilted machining with plane spatial. And the third application is 3 plus 2 axis inclined machining, up to 5 axis simultaneous machining. And now we just watch how we should program um, our program to get the correct result. So, at first, our workpiece, we see it on the right side, has an alignment of A, B, C. Oh, so A minus 0 0.98 degrees and B plus 5.12 degrees. So these values are inside of the preset table. So we see it. 3D basic rotation is active. So for a simple 3-axis machining, we just need to be sure that after every tool call, the tool will come back perpendicular to the tilted surface. So it depends on the machine tool builder, but a lot of machine tool builders during the tool call, they bring the round axis back again to zero position. So we lose the alignment. So after every tool call, we just need to program plane spatial A0, B0, Z0, and then we are again perpendicular to the aligned surface. So that's the only thing what we need to take care that after every tool call we need to make a um, plane spatial with three times zero with turn or move that the machine uh, that the calculation will also get to the axis angle that we get a positioning with the round axis. We can reset the three D basic rotation with the M function. M143, 143. That will reset the complete 3D basic rotation. So you see, the tool is perpendicular to the surface and the machining will be correct. The next step, the 3 plus 2 axis machining. So, if you program the plane spatial A0, B0, Z0, the tool comes perpendicular to the aligned surface. So every other plane spatial or plane angle instead of plane axial, plane axial is not allowed, but all the other plane functions, so the plane spatial, plane vector, Euler, points, relative, they are all working with spatial angles. So every angle is calculated with the 3D basic rotation. So the program will run normally. So if you have a 3D basic rotation active and you have a tilted program, you can just start the tilted program. The only thing what we need to check if there is an untilted machining, therefore there before we need to activate the plane spatial A0, B0, C0. But the control is automatically calculating the programmed spatial angle together with the 3D basic rotation, so everything is working good. 
So you see we have an angle of 45 degrees and the control is calculating the spatial angle together with the 3D basic rotation and we get the correct result. So, 3 plus 2 axis machining with a plain axial. Plain axial, the name, you can hear it, axial is working with axis angle and axis angle is not calculating with any basic rotation. So no 2D basic rotation, no 3D basic rotation. So if you program in a plain axial B minus 45, the control will do B minus 45. But if you align your workpiece, then the result is not correct. So you need to be careful if you work with an active 3D basic rotation and you work with plain axial, then the result is not correct. The 3D basic rotation will not be calculated. Next step is inclined machining or up to 5 axis simultaneous machining. For inclined machining or simultaneous machining, we are often using the M128 together with a linear program, so linear B45. So the combination from M128 and a linear sentence is axis angle. So the 3D basic rotation is not calculated. You see, it's B45, but there should be the 3D basic rotation calculated. So if you have the 3D basic rotation active and M121 and a linear sentence with A or B or C, then the result is not correct. If you are using vector sentences, so an LN sentence with a TX1, TY0, TZ1, so this T vector is just a definition of a neutral angle for the tool. So it's like a spatial angle. So if you have a vector program active, this vector program is calculating with spatial angles. So this vector program will calculate the 3D basic rotation. It's important if you work with T vectors that you have the M128 active. Otherwise, the control ignores the T vector and the machining stays 3 axis without any inclined angle. So 3D basic rotation is active. M128 is active and you have an LN sentence with a T vector, then the result is correct. The control calculates the values and you get the correct machining. So what to do? You have a linear program with linear B45 and you need to do inclined machining. So you need M128, but you have a 3D basic rotation active. Then you can delete the M128 and instead of M128, you program TCPM. So the following function from M128 is TCPM, Tool Center Point Management. And inside of TCPM, you can activate axis SPAT, axis spatial then you activate that all the programmed um, round axis coordinates after this sentence will be calculated as spatial angles. And this spatial angles calculate the 3D basic rotation. So the combination 3D basic rotation, TCPM with axis spatial and an L sentence with round axis coordinates brings in a correct result, so the machining is correct. So as a summary, 
if 3D basic rotation is active, you always need to be sure that you are working with spatial angles. Otherwise, the 3D basic rotation is not calculated and you get a wrong value. The next step is align the plane in the program run, so with the probing cycles. So this possibility is also working on ITNC 530 and you can use this also on the 640 and the 620 in C kernel controls. So we need a probing cycle, the probing 4, 3, 1 measure plane. With this cycle we measure the plane with three points and for every point we need an x, y and z coordinate. But be sure that the sequence of the points are still the same. The first two points are responsible for the x plus axis and the third point is responsible for the y plus axis. After the cycle the control fills in the values in the Q parameter. So the Q 170, 71, 72 is the value of the spatial angle A, B and C. So this we can use later with a plane spatial to do the alignment. And the Q 148 and 140, uh, 158 and 159 are for the plane projected. So after the cycle, the touch probe cycle 431, we can program plane spatial, SPA, SPB, SPC, the plane pro or the plane projected with Q 158, 159, or we can also use the cycle 19, A, Q 170 till 72. Then the tool is perpendicular to the machine, to the um, plane, what we measured here. The next step, we align the x-axis. For this we are using the probing cycle 420. So with the probing cycle 420 we are probing two points. And the result of this probing cycle is in, inside of the Q150. So we measure the angle and the result will be the Q150. So we already used the plane spatial for our tilting on the aligned surface. So we need again a tilting but now we need an SPC movement on the tilted working plane. So we program a plane relat relative SPC plus Q150. Then the result will be the aligned workpiece. If we want to be sure that we will not lose this measured values, we can save the Q parameters in QR parameters. QR are remanent parameters and this remanent parameters they save the value also when you switch off the machine or when you stop or finish the program. So just QR 170 is Q 170 and so on. So you could do the same. So here we saved four parameters. The first three parameters from the 431 and the last parameter, the 150, from the measuring angle cycle. So we could do all together. So the result from the plane spatial and the plane relative 
and this result is inside of the 3D rod. So 3D rod is always the active spatial angle at the control and we can read this out with an FN18 function. So the result should be in the QR170. We read from the ID 210 number 5 index 1. This is the SPA angle of 3D rod and the SPB and the SPC. And then we have after this three sentences we have the three angles from 3D rod inside of the QR170 till 72. If we want to align a tilted surface, so if we already need a plane spatial to get the tool nearly perpendicular to the um, surface what we want to align, then we need to use this structure. So at first a plane spatial with an SPA angle, for example. Then we measure the plane with 4, 3, 1. And then we tilt in. And then we cannot use a plane spatial. We need to do a plane relative. And the sequence must to be um, at first C and then B and then A. So at first C, then B and then A. So the first two we can make with stay. And the last one we can do with move. And then we can go on with the machining. So now we switch to the programming station. And we create one program for the alignment. So I already um, set the datum in the middle of the workpiece so I can now program the probing. So we say touch probe measuring on the second floor we have the 431 measuring plane. So I'll make now a simple example, minus 15, minus 10, and 0, and plus 15, minus 10, and 0, and 0, plus 10, and 0. So just three points, and for every point we need three coordinates, x, y, and that. Setup clearance, clearance height, 15, and measuring lock. What we want to see, for example, we want to see a screen output. So, you can see here the results will be saved in Q170, 171, 172. And these values we can now use for tilting. So, special functions, tilt machining plane, plane spatial. So, A, Q, 170, B, 171, and C, Q, 172. Okay. Move, we are already close to the workpiece, so we say move distance 15 and F maximum. So, Now we are perpendicular to the surface. The next step is again touch probe measuring and 420 measure angle. So minus 15, minus 30 and plus 15, minus 30 the measuring axis should be 2 and the traverse direction plus. Measuring height minus 10. Move to clearance. This would be between the two probing points. If he should go up and go to the next point, no, he can stay down. And we can also bring out a screen info. So, 
the cycle 420, the result would be the Q150. So now we need to use the Q150 with our plane relative. It's important to use the plane relative. If I use the plane spatial, I will lose the alignment from before. So SPC Q150 we can also use move, distance 15, and F maximum. So now the surface or the workpiece is aligned. And the next step, I can now save the values from the 3D rod. So I press the Q parameter key um, in the number block, in the num block. Diverse functions, FN18, sysdatum read. So, and I use the QR, the remanent parameters, enter the ID. So when I don't know the ID, I go to help, open the window. So when I go to help, I'm inside of the FN18 function and I go to help. So the, automatically the user manual opens and I can see all the numbers for the end user, what you can use during programming. And now we need to search in the comments on the right side. We need to look after 3D rot. So 3D rot, here we have the 3D rot. It's inside here, so it's the ID 210, number 5, and the index is the rotary axis. So 1 is A, 2 is B, and C is 3. So ID 210, number 5, index 1 is the SPA. And then we can use insert last and C block just to copy and paste to so 171, 172, index 3, index 2, SPB and SPC. So now we saved the values from the 3D rod in the Q parameters, QR 170 to 72. When we program plane reset, then all the round axes go back to zero position. When I want to tilt again, plane spatial, QR 170, QR 171, and QR 172. Move, distance, F maximum. Then the workpiece is, or the tool is perpendicular to the aligned surface. So in this program, you can use for the alignment also on ITNC 530. So, back to presentation. So we, in this example, we did not activate the 3D basic rotation. So the values are not inside of the preset table, they are just inside of the QR parameters. And now I want to take a look at the applications when the 3D basic rotation is not active. So we only have the values in the QR parameters and we want to do the same with 3 axes tilted machining with plane relative, tilted machining with plane spatial, and inclined machining up to 5-axis machining. So, the values are inside of the um, Q parameters, QR 170, 71, 72. So, if you, if you are doing a 3-axis machining, then we need to be sure after every tool call 
we need to program the plane spatial with the Q parameters to align the surface. And then the machining is correct. So, 3 plus 2 axis machining. We are already using the plane spatial with the QR parameters to tilt the surface to the top or to tilt the tool to the top surface. So we lose the plane spatial for our next steps. So after the plane spatial we always need to program this plane relative. So that's why the 3D basic rotation on the 620 and the 640 control is a very um, big advantage because then you do not need to do any changes in the NC program, you just activate 3D basic rotation and you can go on with 3 plus 2 axis machining, for example. If you don't have the 3D basic rotation, then you need to change the program to plane relative and then the control calculates the correct angles. So, the same, the inclined machining, the same as before, if you work with M128 and linear, the result is wrong, this is axis angle, so the alignment is not calculated. The same before when you are working with vector programs with a T vector and M128 is active, then the 3D basic rotation is working. So if you um, activate M128, afterwards you activate the plane spatial with the QR parameters, then LN and the T vector of the LN sentence will always be calculated on the active tilted working plane. That's why the alignment is working here. So the control gets the information of the tilted working plane in the plane spatial. And then the control gets the request for the T from the T vector to incline the tool and M128 is active. So we can go on with the correct machining. You can also use the linear program. So also together with the axis spatial. So you work with TCPM, axis spatial. And then you program the plane spatial, so the tilted surface and then linear B45, then the inclined angle of linear B45 is calculated on the tilted surface. So the aligned surface is correct, the machining is correct. Okay. That's all from my side. I hope you could enjoy this webinar. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me. Um, you can use the telephone number or the email address. So thank you very much for your attention. Hope to see you again or to hear you again in the next webinar. Have a nice day and bye-bye.